Hello, and welcome to another unboxing video. Today, we're going to be unboxing Ikoria pre-release packs. Holy. Forgive me if I suck at this. This is literally the second time I've ever done it, and I haven't found a better place to do it. So I'm just doing it at my kitchen table. That's my printer you see in the background. Um, I got a Coria pre-release packs because my buddy likes to order stuff online and uh, when he does it he asks me if I want to order some too and most of the time I say yes and sometimes I end up with some pretty cool stuff. kind of sad that I'm not opening a pre-release pack at a pre-release, but uh, these things happen and got to do what you got to do. Figured I'd start filming these videos. We got a white dye. I almost always get green dye, so I got a lot of those green dye. Okay, so what do we get? Oh, we got a Mythos of Vadrock. That's our time stain. Not bad, not bad. Oh, Redemption Co. Don't put that on the internet till you've redeemed it. There's the uh, the other side. <laughs> What's that? Okay, so learn how to draft a deck, how mutate works. Cool. All right, those are punch out tokens. I didn't even think about these since they announced them. What a good idea. I think it's a good idea anyway. Yeah, I don't know why I had to look at them again. Okay, so some of them are repeated. Just the divider. It's funny how these don't fit into other Magic branded products, but whatever. Oh yeah, there goes my camera. Don't look at my house. I have an autistic four-year-old. Okay, pack down. Anything else in there? Any hidden, any hidden secrets? Nah, they've uh. It's kind of just a cardboard box these days. All right. So, Corey has been pretty cool so far. I'm enjoying the mutate mechanic. I, I honestly wasn't looking forward to playing Battle Cruiser Magic again, but it turns out that's not what this is. It has similarities, but uh, yeah. Wow, huh? I'm not very good at opening packs of Magic cards anymore. All right, gonna speed through the commons and uncommons. Oh, let's see if we can get that lined up a little better. Shred it, bro. Facet Radar, Sleeper Dart, Memory Leak, Majestic Oricorn, a unicorn. Gains you life, gives your mutate stack vigilance, which could be really good if it's on a Paradise Druid. Call of the Death Dweller. Get some of your little baddies back. Grim Dancer. Pick which abilities you want. Ooh, a Slither Wisp. Fantastic. Ooh, a Foil Mountain. Everybody loves a good mountain. A regular mountain. Human Soldier Token, only one sided in the regular packs. Okay, I got that one up. Checkpoint Officer. Frostvale Ambush. Prickly Marmoset. Humble Naturalist. Bushmeat Poacher. Blister Spit Gremlin. Facet Reader. Night Squared Commando. Flycatcher Giraffid. We call them Long Neckies. Light of Hope. Reptilian Reflection. Don't let this card beat you up, because it will if you let it. Oh, hey, look at that card. Zenith Flare. Woo! One of the least unfun ways to win or to lose at Magic the Gathering ever. Survive Crystal. Ah, yes. Mythos of Nethroy. Fantastic. Oh, we got a Windscarred Craig. I guess they're, uh, yeah, it makes sense in a kind of a wedge colored set to have common dual lands. K 
cat token. Probably can't have enough of these, seeing as you get two cat tokens out of every cub warden mutation. Phase Dolphin, Pyroceratops, Blade Banish, Blitz Leech, Wilt. Mysterious Egg. Card's better than I thought it was going to be. I already thought it was going to be good, but this card has already worked very well for me. Corpse Turn, Flycatcher Giraffid, Pacifism, Blister Spit Gremlin, Clash of Titans. Ah, Triple Menace. And I don't mean Triple Threat, because a Triple Threat is somebody that can sing, dance, and act. But a Triple Menace is a creature that has menace, but you need at least three creatures to block. Unbreakable Bond. It's like immediately like, oh my goodness, this is so adorable. And then you look at the picture a little bit more and you're like, oh, this is kind of morbid. That woman looks like she probably needs to work on her tan. Or maybe she's been in COVID isolation for too long. Bonders Enclave. Not disappointed. Forest. Human Soldier. Whatever you say, human. Okay. Forbidden Friendship. I don't know. My, my mom was pretty good at... Uh, telling me about the kids that I shouldn't be hanging out with. She's usually right. Snare Tactician. Of one mind. Dead weight. What a good card. I've never had so much respect for this card before this set. Almighty Brushwag. Blood Curdle. Plummet. Dranith Healer. High tend reflexes. I've recently found some uh, pretty decent success. Giving a death touch creature first strike at instant speed is pretty funny. Aegis Turtle. Reconnaissance. Michonne. Another Grim Dancer. Not disappointed. Janaral's Enforcer. Oh, check it out. A Colossification. Just an enchantment that says plus 20, plus 20. Yes, that's ongoing. That stays on your creature. A Blossoming Sands. Oh, a Feather Token. Not like Feather the Creature. No, just confusing. It's a token named Feather. Main Servo. Glimmer Bell, Cathartic Reunion, Garrison Cat, Lurking Deadeye, Adventurous Impulse, Dark Bargain, Cloud Piercer, oh yeah, Comic Book Vulpikeet. I'm pretty sure that puts me to a place that. Pretty stoked about that. Mosscoat Goraiak. Easy Prey. Ivy Elemental. Ominous Seas. It's really funny how bad some people are at using this card. You'd think it would be really easy to use, but no. Ooh, Shevel Bane of Monsters. Is that just like a play on shovel? I don't know. Island. Oh. oh, I hate these. This is the only thing that I get that I throw out. I guess I throw out the packaging too. I'm Canadian. When I say throw out, I mean recycle. Frenzied Reptile. And the French accent's fake, by the way. It's uh, I don't always realize I'm doing accents. So sometimes you'll hear a crazy fake foreign accent. 
and I say fake foreign accent because it's not attributed to any country. Every time I try to do accents, no, not a chance. Gust of wind. Ferocious tigerilla. Durable coil bug. Honey mammoth. Oh, cavern whisperer. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad that they started putting these premium alternate art kind of cards in the regular packs too. I think they were doing it right away, but it, uh, I think there was a feeling of draft packs are going to suck once you open a collector's pack. You're going to open a draft pack and the whole thing is going to feel disappointing. But there is still excitement. You still have a chance to get one of these cool cards in it. It's not a whole pack of these cool cards, but it still still happens. Oh, and would you look at that? Another one. Perfect. I'm into it. Moscot Goraic. Boot Nipper. I'm pretty sure that the sound that this makes on Arena is the same sound that Zerglings made in StarCraft. Tatanith Rex. Sprite Dragon. Unbreakable Bond. Emergent Ultimatum. Open this in a draft. I think it was a draft. Maybe it was a sealed. And I actually got to play it in Limited several times. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fun. Rugged Islands. Human Soldier. Oh, that's the last of the packs from that one. So now we're going to move on to this next one. No, I shouldn't be disappointed. It's Frondland Felidar. I'm a little disappointed. That's okay, though. Some instructions. Arena code. Tokens. Divider. Hey, guess what? Guess what color my die is? Oh, I got a green one. I can live with my other green die. Okay, pack one, pick one. Except that's drafting and this is sealed. Except it's not sealed because I'm not actually using this in a pre-release, which feels weird. Keep safe. Go for blood. Fully grown. Durable coil bug. Facet reader. Night Squad Commando, Flycatcher Giraffid, Light of Hope, Rumbling Rock Slide, Aegis Turtle, Hey Zenith Flare, Stormwild Storm Wild Caprador, Ah Necro Panther. This card's already done a bunch of work for me. Genesis Ultimatum, Blossoming Sands. Oh Shark Token, excellent. Seriously? <laughs> Wingfold Terran. Tentative Connection. Bushmeat Poacher. I don't know what you think of when you hear the words combined bushmeat, but I have something in particular in mind. Hampering Snare, Blood Curdle, Thwart the Enemy, Patagia Tiger, Heightened Reflexes, Slaper Dart, Sprite Dragon, Exuberant Wolf Bear, I Love Porky Parrot. Oopsies, we missed our, uh, our rare slot. The Ozolith, or Ozolith, not sure. I would say Ozolith. Ozolith? 
Ozilus. I think Ozilus sounds better. Oh, that guy's a foil. Foil monstrous step. Forest. What a cool forest with the glowy, the glowy glow. I mean, it's not a foil one, but you can still see the glowy glow. Ah, uh, freaking ad cards. Freaking ad cards, eh? Freaking ad cards. Checkpoint officer, thieving otter. Definitely a creature type that magic needed. Otters. Go for blood. Cavern whisperer. Almighty brushwag. Mutual destruction. Migratory great horn. Gloom pangolin. Pangolin. Dreamtail hero. And I say hero because it says it says hero and <laughs> ooh majestic oracorn ooh mystic subduel. Does anybody really know what subduel means? Is that just a made-up gaming term? I suppose I could look it up. Probably not going to. Sanctuary smasher. Comic book art, Aluna Apex of Wishes. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of that art. It's cool-ish. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I like it. <laughs> oh, Foil Thieving Otter. Excellent. Rugged Highlands. Human Soldier. Tentative Connection, Perimeter Sergeant, Thieving Otter, Spell Eater Wolverine, Ram Through, Whisper Squad, Fully Grown, Coordinating Charge, or sorry, Coordinated Charge, Cloud Piercer, Far Finder, uh, that deck that I talked about where I either drafted or I had it in sealed, Oh, no, I already can't remember. Emergent Ultimatum? I had a couple of these, too, and I was surprised. It's good. Also, it's a uh, it's a Vigilance creature, so you, you can mutate on top of this. Get Cast it to get your land, mutate on top of it, and your mutate stat has, stack has Vigilance. Also, it doesn't have any colored mana requirements, so you can put it in any mutate deck you want. Oh, yeah, pile of cards just fell over. That's all right. It only landed on my knife. Reconnaissance mission. Rooting Moloch. Necro Panther. I'm glad I got a few of these. Mythos of Brokos. Brokos? Brokos. Seems all right. Island. Human. Keep safe. Forbidden friendship. Snare tactician. Unlikely aid. Bristling boar. You can be a big pig too. Hoi. Oh, don't tell Disney. Greater sandworm. When I look at this art, it doesn't. Something seems off to me about it. It doesn't look like that head is attached to anything. It just looks like it is a head launching out of the sand. Anyway, it's definitely better than the previous Greater Sandworm art. Every time I think Sandworms, I think of Dune. Pacifism. Blister Spit Gremlin. Facet Reader. Night Squad. Commando. I don't know. Something tells me she is wearing underwear. Valiant Rescuer. Wingspan Mentor. Flame spill. Ah, yes, the shark typhoon. I 
may have uh, complained in my magic group, my group chat with my buddies there. I was like, it bothers me that they have Godzilla cards that actually say Godzilla on them, and that's a reference to a franchise. But uh, Sharknado is a franchise that this is clearly referencing. And it just bugs me that they're in the same set. Like you have a licensed product in your set that is named correctly according to what you're referencing. This is referencing a franchise, but you skirted it. Anyway, you know, like a full set that's making references to things that aren't licensed. None of them are direct. They're all loose references. I'm totally into that. A set that's totally licensed, where it's just a whole bunch of cards that are making direct reference to characters from other franchises. That's awesome too, as long as it's all the way through. But, you know, I'm a Magic player. I am capable of complaining about anything. Mountain. Who man? Forbids the friendships. Solid footing. Frost links. Kind of feels like they were reaching. They were like, hey, we need a blue cat in this set too. Look at the creature type. It's already elemental and cat. And that's kind of part of the theme that we've got going in the set. Let's put it in the set. That's not a bad card. Fertilid. The Litz Leech. Hampering Snare, Evolving Wild, Blood Curdle, Plummet, Dranith Healer, Skull Prophet, Keen Sight Mentor, Back for Mower, Ah, Kogla, the Titan Ape. No, it's not named King Kong. It's a King Kong reference that's named something else. Swamp. Oh, Beast Token. Okay, you might think this is over, but because I ordered pre-release packs from face to face, you get two bonus boosters per pre-release pack. Or, I'm not sure how that works, but that's how it worked this time, so... Sweet, more packs. Phase Dolphin. Cathartic Reunion. Divine Arrow. I think that might be the first one out of all the packs open today. Glimmer Bell. Fertilid. Is awesome. Coordinated charge. Let's leech. The ugly. We're just gonna call it that, just the ugly. Gloom Pangolin. I really like this art. Yeah. I really like this art. I really do. I'm not sure. I think pangolins are really neat creatures. I got a thing for red and black stuff. <laughs> Not necessarily magic red-black, but the actual red colors, red and black. Red's my favorite color, and I'm a bit of a goth kid. Huntmaster Liger. Porky Parrot. Glowstone Recluse. What a monster. Hey, what a, what a bee. I say bee. Yeah, I said bee. I was going to say something else, and then I stopped myself. Winota, Joiner of Forces. Oh, yeah. Way cooler. Foil Titan's Nest. Ooh, wow. Do I ever like how that foil works? It's like a particularly dark art. Where the foil just pops. Just nice. It gives a... I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but it has an actual 3D effect to it. Really neat. Oh, I'm stoked about that. Scoured Barns. Barns. Barons, human, soldier. Capture Sphere. 
Lava Serpent, Blade Banish, Honey Mammoth, Durable Coil Bug, Blister Spit. <laughs> I've had a feeling I was going to mess this one up today. Blister Spit Gremlin, Essence Scatter, Night Squad Commando, Plummet, Dranith Healer, Will of the All Hunter, Clash of Titans, Generals Enforcer, Zerda the Dawnwalker, Thornwood Falls, a dinosaur token. Okay, second face to face pre release bonus packs. Wow, man, this is a little strip of glue. It's going to be such a hard time. <laughs> oh. We're going to say I'm back to work and I'm not dealing with it well so far. Keep safe. I may have damaged that card upon opening it. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if you can see that little white mark at the top of the card. I'm pretty sure I just did that. Careful when you open your cards, kids. Don't do it like I do it. Forbidden Friendship. Snare Tactician. Bristling Boar. Unlikely Aid. Thwart the enemy. <laughs> Batagia Tiger. I was running these in cats at first because I was like, it is a cat and it flies. That's excellent. I didn't care if I had humans in my deck. I just wanted a cat that could fly so that I could mutate other cats on top of it and not break the cat theme. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Heightened Reflexes. Sleeper Dart, Convolute, Migration Path. This art feels like it has real depth. Like I actually see that herd, I'm guessing you would call it herd. It actually looks like it's going off in the distance. Well, this magic art has gotten really amazing over the years. Flame Spell, Cunning Knight Bonder. Another Shevel. I probably won't play this card. I think I put it in a deck and I was like, not really sure. Like, I'm, I was probably doing it wrong. Blossoming Sands. Add card. Like, what's with these ad cards? What is with these ad cards? Like, I already play magic. Why are, ugh, advertise something else to me maybe? Like Yeah, I don't know. I think if you advertised anything else, like people would be like, that's not something I'm into. Just because I play magic, that doesn't mean I'm into that. Dranith Stinger Snare Tactician of One Mind. Lava Serpent. Honey Mammoth. Oh yeah, another one of those cavern whisperers. Hmm, I might be making a mutate deck. Uh, I mean, a paper mutate deck. Coordinated charge. Cloud piercer. Farfinder. Titaneth Rex. Sprite Dragon. General's Enforcer. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that's my last rare. Ruinous Ultimatum. I'm not totally into this card. I've only cast it a couple times, but... Yeah, it, it's kind of game over. It's kind of like, you know, Planner Cleansing. Except it's one more mana, and it only does your opponent's side. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, man. I kind of had a feeling that wasn't my last rare. Yes, I love Cub Warden. I am a Magic player who probably for at least the first decade of Magic playing, I thought life, life gain 
was a very terrible strategy. I, I always felt like, why put off losing when you could just win? Like, put in a card that's going to kill your opponent instead of make you live longer. But over the years where I would let a lifelink card be in a deck because I wanted some other effect that was on it, yeah, okay, in incidental life gain is awesome. And I kind of think of this as incidental life gain. Yes, it has lifelink. It's a constant source of life. Not necessarily constant, but as long as you're doing damage with this creature, you're getting life. As long as you're doing damage with the cubs that it makes, you're, you're gaining life. And the, when I say incidental, I mean it's not the goal of the deck or the goal of the card. It's something that also happens in addition to what you're trying to do. And sometimes that incidental life gain can be the difference winning against burn. It could be the difference of winning, winning against an aggro deck. I really love Cupboard. It really speaks to me. Island. Oh yeah, sweet. Another one of those. All right. Well, thank you for joining me in my second unboxing video ever. I had a really good time. I'm really uh, looking forward to doing more of these with all of y'all. Notice I don't say y'all very well because I'm not American, but that's all right. I love Americans. Much as the next guy. Yay! Look at all those cards. Woo! Okay. That was fun. Have a good day. Stay safe.